Hi, I'm Guy Spiro, here with an explanation of moon void of course periods. You will notice that I speak of them often in the daily astro weather reports. In recent years, more and more people have become aware that we have these moon void of course periods every couple days or so. You will find if you pay attention to them and work with them and around them that you can save yourself an awful lot of grief and frustration. Since they happen so often and the effect is so pronounced, this is something that you can verify for yourself in a relatively short time. The moon is said to be void, of course, between the time it makes its last major aspect, another word for specific angle, in a sign and its entry into the next sign. The moon moves 10 to 12 degrees a day, and there are 30 degrees to every sign. So you can see that the moon changes signs every two to three days. Because the last major aspect that the moon makes in a sign can happen in the early or late degrees of that sign, moon void of course periods can be short or long. Over the years I have seen them last for a minute, and I've seen them last for the entire time the moon is in the sign. These of course are the extremes, and you'll find that most moon void of course periods last for a few hours and rarely run for more than a day or so. Now, during moon void of course times, plans that are made, ideas that are had, projects that are started, and major purchases almost always fall through or go wrong for one reason or another. There will be missing crucial details. Ideas will seem to be brilliant but will be incomplete. Projects will be started on weak foundations that will need shoring up. And major purchases? The color will be wrong. It looked right at the store, but get it home and it's at least a few shades off. Or whatever it is won't fit through the door. The instructions will be missing. Or you just won't even make it to the store before it closes. During long moon void, of course, periods, things can seem to slow down, as if you're moving through molasses. It becomes hard to motivate yourself and especially others. Now, moon void, of course, periods can be overcome, but it takes two or three times the normal amount of effort, and most people, most of the time, will not put out that much effort. On the other hand, if an opportunity presents itself during a moon void of course period or any other so-called negative astrological influence and it's something that you really want and it may not be available at a better time then by all means go for it just know that what you're dealing with and that you'll have to make adjustments as time goes on again moon void of course periods are among the most easily observed of astrological influences only a few days of watching these periods provides enough direct experience to take them seriously. It should be noted that there are some positive uses for them. It is said that it is easier to break bad habits, nothing I'd know anything about, during moon void of course periods, and this is worth checking out. These periods are also good for breathing spaces and otherwise busy schedules, and you can always use them to clear up details of things already in motion. It's new things that you may not want to take too seriously. As a void of course ends, when the moon enters the next sign, there is usually a noticeable shift in the energy. The longer the void of course has been, the more dramatic the lift in the energy is. I hope you find this explanation of the moon void of course periods useful. Please refer back to it and check in at astroweather.tv often as I will be uploading more videos explaining astrological phenomena and other metaphysical tidbits. I am Guy Spiro and I thank you for your interest. Please be sure to check out the daily astroweather reports at astroweather.tv. And remember, the prime directive is to have fun.